All right, hello, hello, hello. How's it going, everyone? Uh, Chick Monster here. I'm going to be doing some random topics today. And um, as you guys can tell, I got a haircut. Uh, I, hope, I hope it looks good. Um, I think it always looks good. The last time I got a haircut, maybe like a long time ago. <laughs> I mean, of course, granted, it's, it's by uh, family, unfortunately, due to the fact that um, nothing is opened, or the places that I used to go to is opened. Either way, uh, got a haircut. Hopefully it looks good, looks fresh. I think it does. I think it looks nice. So anyways, uh, the random topic that I'm going to be talking about today is uh, traveling. And just like everyone, everyone wants to travel. Unfortunately, we can't do that to, due to COVID times. Uh, well, we can't travel uh, out of country. We can travel in state but we can no longer travel out of country, which is a huge problem for me uh, and many other people. But granted, uh, since I don't really know those other people, I'm going to be talking about myself, of course, um, at this moment at least. So um, there are many places I wanted to travel to um, before COVID-19 uh, happened. And um, you guys may think this is typical or that type of thing or uh, you guys may judge me instantly but you know what it's it's my own choice I kind of want to do it uh, I've always wanted to travel to Japan um, I had I've always been infatuated with the idea of um, sink or swim and what I mean by that is going to a place where I don't know anything about uh, or I know very little minimal about uh, and seeing if I can survive getting a job there uh, learning to speak the language um, ba basically being able to survive. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I am saying basically a lot. Uh, I guess that's a new word for today. <laughs> uh, and uh, I just thought about the idea. I was trying to do it. Um, I was pre-planning my trip to Japan um, this year or last year, but I decided to hold off on it due to the fact that I don't think I was ready yet. I'm only 23 right now, and um, yeah, surprise. I, I guess I look older. That's what a lot of people say. I guess I have an ugly ass face, huh? Oh well, doesn't bother me. Not, not like I'm trying to impress those people anyways. So, uh, what I'm trying to say here is that, uh, unfortunately due to um, the traveling issues, I can't actually go travel. I, I'm gonna be bringing you guys along when we can travel. And um, Japan's gonna be the first place I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna try living there for maybe for as long as I can, I guess, uh, until I say, you know what, it's time to move on. Let's see if I can go to another country. Either way, I'm going to be traveling back to my hometown in the very end to help out, you know, my mom and dad and all that. Because uh, they have a lot of stuff that they want me to do for them. And I think it's time to move on. Um, it's it, I love working for my parents. They've taught me a lot for my 23 years of living. And... Um, even though I have taught myself a lot, I just feel like they, I feel like it's time to move on. I think I need to learn stuff for myself. Every, it's always best to learn on your own um, instead of always relying on people to help you uh, because uh, I learned that in the very end, um, when you expect someone to help you, they probably will not help you. And even if they do, they're going to probably make a fuss about it. So either way, help yourself, do what's best for you to improve and uh, whatever it takes. Uh, I'm going off topic here. So traveling. So Japan. There's many things I want to do there. I'm all. I've always been um, very, very um, attracted to their lifestyle, their buildings, their um, architecture. That's the word I'm looking for. For instance, their traditional style homes. Wow, they are beautiful. Uh, sliding doors. I'm always been uh, attracted to the old school style of living not necessarily like without beds or something like that if that's what you guys are jumping to conclusions about but more of the line of uh buildings environment how peaceful it can be granted uh i know japan has their own problems and all that um luckily uh i am a guy and it's not like it doesn't happen to guys but uh most of the time what i tend to notice is that uh, in japan there's like rape issues and all of that, and it tends to happen to the girls, but it does happen to the guys here and there, not not to the amount of uh, girls though. So luckily, fortunate for me, I am a guy. Hopefully, I am 
taken as one. <laughs> but either way, um, uh, that's one thing that I've been um, fatuated about or um, interested in. I've also been interested in, um, or I've been attracted to their quality of, um, their overall quality. For instance, in America, I feel like our five-star rated stuff is equivalent to a like one star or two star of japan but of course i'm exaggerating uh don't don't attack me guys either way what i'm trying to say is that um japan's quality is like trying to improve themselves even more instead of just giving in doing the bare minimal they choose to improve for instance have you guys ever noticed that um their candy like high chew candy those are always great they have great flavor they're great texture and it's n always consistent too and um it's their meals as well uh entrees uh dinners breakfast all of that well, i i find it very uh, good you guys i'm not sure if you guys have any different opinions uh i've always been introduced to uh, great stuff but of course here it's all americanized for instance the sushi this sushi um that i normally order at like sansai uh and one of the other rando topics i've talked about um Sushi here, I've always tried the American style. I've done traditional uh, sashimi, uh, nigiri, all of those. Um, and I loved it uh, to the max. Uh, I guess that's a, another way of saying it. Uh, I remember meeting one of my friends who is, uh, I think, like a quarter Japanese. And he, um, he and I got along very well due to the fact that we had at least one thing in common, which is eating traditional Japanese food and every time we go we had a blast and um, th that's one of the other things I also want to learn about um, learning how to make traditional food from Japan learning to live in the environment even though I don't know jack squat about it I just want to know how other people live and seeing if I can adapt to the um, culture sink or swim and what always am um, uh, what I do tend to notice is if I were to do this, I would say um, confidence overall uh, will definitely boost up like a, a huge amount, a huge margin. Uh, what I mean by that is I can, I can, if I can do this, basically live in an environment where uh, I know nothing about. Uh, they speak a completely different language, and even though I can use English over there, and uh, they may not be the most English friendly. Uh, I can still live by adapting to their culture, and that will give me like a lot of confidence. Not only uh, to just like general ideas, but the fact that I can do this, uh, do anything, um, and adapt to any type of culture. So um, that's all I kind of wanted to talk about, and uh, mainly to show off my hairstyle too, uh, <laughs> or my new hair. Um, so, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching, and. Uh, leave a comment see uh, tell me if you guys have these ideas about wanting to travel and all that or just putting yourself out there putting seeing how much how well we can do under pressure doing any type of stuff whether it's traveling out of state out of country um, or even just out, out of city uh, a small minor thing just living on your own doing whatever you can to do to survive uh, let me know if you guys had any ideas like that and uh, you know, uh, I, I, full, I fully support you guys because I have the same ideas too. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe for more. And peace.